Hi, um, I'm Jacqueline. Welcome to our channel, where I am one of the Glamour Girls, along with Ailes and Stan, who will post videos at a later date. Um, but today, I'm going to talk about mascara, because it's great. <laughs> and, um, okay, I have really long eyelashes already. Um, so you would think that mascara is not very important to me, but I believe that my eyelashes are one of my best features, so I really like to play it up. Um, so mascara is really important to me, moral of the story. <laughs> um, I only use black. Um, personally, I think it looks really weird if you're wearing blue mascara. I mean, you can try like brown if you don't want to be as dramatic, but like one time I saw someone with blue mascara and it just, it, I just, I don't want to talk about it, it was a bad time. <laughs> um, okay, so, obviously there are a thousand different kinds of mascaras and it's very overwhelming, so I'm just going to touch on a few. Um, I feel like I've tried all eight thousand, which I haven't, but anyways, um, I believe there's a difference between, uh, the expensive stuff and the drugstore kind, just for mascara though, like obviously other products. You could buy the drugstore version and it wouldn't be any better than the department store. But mascara, I feel like you should invest in. Um, so the two I have right here, this one is Dior Show, Iconic, and this one is Estee Lauder. And um, this Estee Lauder one they always give it to you in um, those little makeup bags you get when you spend like $50 at Macy's or something. Uh, I This one is the one I use when I run out of my usual mascara. Uh, it's fine. I think the um, the brush is the most important part and I don't, I'm just not very pleased with it. Um, it doesn't leave clumps but it doesn't grab my eyelashes very well. Um, same with the Dior show. This, I'll show you the brush. But um, I got this one at Nordstrom, I believe, the Estee Lauder one, and I got the Dior show at Sephora. Um, they're both good mascaras. I just they're not my favorite. I wouldn't invest in them. I know everyone loves the Dior show, but it just doesn't do it for me. So. Um, if you hear a better review, go try it, but that's just mine. Um, this Clinique one, I hate this one. <laughs> um, first of all, it smells really weird. <laughs> Second of all, it goes on really clumpy, and it's hard to get off, and, okay, um, I know everyone here is like, clumps are bad, like, you don't want clumps, but if you've never heard or understood why you don't want clumps in your mascara. One, it looks weird when you have it like defeats the purpose of mascara because it's supposed to look like you don't have any on. But when there's weird black clumps that defeats the purpose. Also, um, it makes you look like you have less eyelashes than you actually do, which does not help you because you want it to look like you have fuller eyelashes and longer eyelashes. Um, so yeah, I just, I don't like that clinic one. <laughs> um, my favorite all-time mascara. Um, this is, I'm sure it comes in a bigger tube, uh, but I tried this because it came in um, a trial size. Uh, this is Benefit They're Real. I got this from Sephora. Um, it is my absolute favorite. The bristles grab my eyelashes. Um, it doesn't clump. I only have to use like one swipe because it gets every eyelashes from the root to the end and I feel like it makes my eyelashes look really pretty. Um, disclaimer, don't go buy something just because someone says you should buy it. Um, <laughs> you should buy whatever makes you feel good. Like I know a lot of people that hate that one but it makes me feel good so I buy it and use that one. So disclaimer of life and of makeup. <laughs> um, okay, on to the drugstore brand. So, 
I don't know why, but when I was younger, I was like, oh, I want every single Maybelline mascara. So I had every single Maybelline mascara, and it was really unnecessary. And, yeah, so don't go buy every Maybelline mascara. It's a moral story. Um, okay, these two, this yellow one is Colossal, and this pink one is One by One, both Maybelline. Um, obviously, <laughs> they, were, they both work pretty well. Just average. That's all I have to say. Um, okay, I have two falsies. This one is the regular one, and this one is the winged one. Um, these were my absolute favorites for a while before I found the benefit one. Um, I can honestly tell you there's no difference between the winged and the regular falsies. I thought there was. There isn't. Buy whichever is cheaper. <laughs> um, my favorite drugstore mascara is this is the Mega Plush. Uh, if you've seen the commercials for this is the one they keep saying like gel mousse. I don't know, you know, with the weird like British girl in the commercial. <laughs> um, this is my favorite because the bristles are really big. Um, you get uh, full coverage on your eyelashes, and again, it doesn't clump and gets all my eyelashes. <laughs> I don't really have anything else to say. I just love it. Um, okay. Eyeliner. Okay, I actually, okay, first of all, I only wear eyeshadow on special occasions. I just, I, I, it looks good. I'm just way too lazy to put it on and, like, I have, like, an eight minute morning routine because <laughs> I value my sleep a lot. So I don't have to put it on. But on days when I'm being special, I put on eyeliner. Um, I usually use crayon. Um, these are my two crayons. Uh, they're not actually crayons. Actually, I think they're called pencils. Um, they're not literally pencils because all you do is you twist this. It comes so yeah um you this is Neutrogena this is black again I use different color eyeliners sometimes but usually I just use black makes your eyes look more dramatic so I use black um <clears throat> excuse me this one has a smudger on the end but I don't I don't believe you need a smudger for every day unless you're going for a smoky eye look then you may need a smudger but you know just putting it on you don't even, um, my favorite, more expensive brand is the Chanel one. Um, literally looks the same as the Fujigina one. The only difference is, um, the Chanel one goes on a little bit blacker than this one does. It looks like it's not faded as much. Um, yeah. Okay. The only other thing I'm going to touch on is the liquid eyeliner. Um, I don't use it a lot. Usually I use it sometimes um, when I put it over my eyeshadow because it won't smudge the eyeshadow. Uh, this one is Maybelline Lime Stiletto. And okay, if you've never used liquid eyeliner, it just it looks like a mini paintbrush and it's literally a liquid. It's not a pencil. Um, it looks different than the pencil on your eye because uh, it's darker and it creates a smoother line than if you had used pencil. Uh, it looks a little dramatic for every day, I think, so I don't use it every day. Um, this one is Revlon Colorstay. Uh, the only reason I'm mentioning this one is because, uh, okay, I don't really like this one. Um, this is, has a felt tip, so it's easier to put on, like you put it on like a you would a pencil, but it feels like liquid, and it's harder to put on, and it doesn't go on as black. So, uh, I don't use this one a lot, because I don't like it very much. Um, so, that wraps up my first video. Uh, leave your comments below. You can email us if you have any requests, because we're just kind of going off what our usual everyday routine is. So if you want to see something special, let us know. There's three girls, so one of us is bound to know the answer. 
So I hope you enjoyed this. Um, and I will see you guys later.